this class I will discuss uh, mainly uh, the seed pile uh, in cohesive soil uh, and then I will discuss about the cantilever seed pile in cohesive as well as cohesionless soil. So, before I start that uh, seed pile in cohesive soil, so I have solved one example in the last class that uh, that seed pile in granular soil or phi soil and ultimately I got that expression that final expression was 1044.6 y4 then plus 13680 y cube minus 31131.33 y square minus 44 8391.5 y and minus 9912.18. So, it is a y to the power 4 uh, equation. So, ultimately I solve it through trial and error method. So, initially that I assume 6.7. So, the rest of uh, so, if I put y is equal to 6.7 in this expression, then ultimately this side should be equal to 0. Okay? So, but if I put y equal to 6.7 meter, then I am getting a value as a plus 792.75, okay? but which is greater than 0. So, and it is plus. So, what I did? I reduce the y value in the second trial take 6 meter. Okay? This is the trial 1, this is trial 2 and I got a value in the uh, left hand side is minus 471.4. So, again it is minus we have to again increase the y value. So, in the third trial I put y equal to 6.3 meter and I got a value which is plus 15, which is uh, very close to 0. So, ultimately in the fourth trial, but it is plus 15, so we have to reduce it. So, fourth trial I take 6.29 meter, so which is giving me very close to 0. Okay? So, that is why I put y equal to 6.29 meter. So, this is uh, the value that I got through the trial and error method. So, you also use the trial and error method if you have the y to the power 4 expression and if you have the square y to the power square expression then you can solve it through the calculator. So, that is the way you can determine the y value from this equation. Okay? And the one guideline that what should be the first value you, you um, have to choose for the trial and error method. So, my guideline you first choose for the first trial you choose y value is close to h because in our uh, case the problem h value was 7 meter. Okay? So, that is why I put the y value first trial is 6.7 meter. So, for the first trial you choose a y value which is close to h. Okay? Then according to the values that is coming either plus or minus, you have to either reduce it or increase it. Okay? So, next point that I want to discuss is that I have uh, done the analysis considering um, that your uh, sheet pile is rotating about the base of the about the uh, about a point below the dredge level okay so but uh, you have seen that this analysis is very uh, complicated okay so that's why uh, approximate analysis is also uh, can be done uh, analysis can be done that is uh, what we are assuming that this 
totals this side is under active and this side is under passive condition. So, this is your cantilever sheet pile and for that uh, approximate analysis this is uh, can also be done. So, where the uh, what is the assumption that here it is assumed that this side is active, this total side is active and this side is passive. Okay? This is the approximate analysis, actual analysis the net pressure diagram is something like this. So, this is our actual analysis. So, to simplify this analysis, one approximate analysis is also suggested. Okay. So, this is the actual analysis and uh, we have solved uh, um, this um, earth pressure diagram, uh, we um, got the equation and from there we know how to calculate the y value. But here in this approximate analysis, if this is the h and the total d is the depth of sheet pile, the total instead of this active passive and active passive part, it is considered that this total side is active, this total side is passive. But remember that this is an approximate analysis. Okay? So, and it is assumed that for this part, you know, this is the passive. So, it is k p gamma d okay? and this side this is uh, gamma k a h plus d. Okay? So, now if it is a point say B, now for the summation of M B uh, at a point B is 0. So, uh, I can say that half into K P gamma D into D into this is this side is active force and this side is the passive force. P P P active. Okay. So, and there is this total triangle is half into this base is K P gamma D and into the height which is D and then the lever arm from this point is D by 3. So, that will be equal to because both are acting in opposite direction again this is half into K A gamma h plus d into h plus d into h plus d divided by 3. So, because this is acting at the height of h plus d divided by 3 and this is d divided by 3. Okay. So, finally, if I simplify this equation, this will be half k p gamma d square into d by 3 is equal to half k a gamma h plus d square into h plus d divided by 3. So, from he uh, this equation only unknown is d, okay? h is known. So, you uh, get the d value from here. So, find the d value. then increase it by 20 to 40 percent. Is it by 20 to 40 or 30 percent. Okay? So, this is the approximate analysis, but I would recommend to do the actual analysis that I have solved in the previous class. Okay? So, next uh, thing that we will start is the cantilever sheet pile in cohesive soil. Okay?
that is phi u is equal to 0. So, in the cantilever sheet pile in cohesive soil, again it is assume that this is the G L and this is the dredge level that your point of rotation will be any point. Okay, below the dredge level and above the base of the wall. So, again it uh, has two I mean four parts. Okay. So, that means, this is first region, second region, third region and the uh, this is third region and this is the fourth region. So, there will be active passive and so and the, this is active, this is passive, again this is active, this is passive. Okay. So, the same as the cantilever sheet pile in cohesionless soil, but the distribution is slightly different. Okay. So, let us start for the C phi soil, you know that P A expression is Q bar K A minus 2 C u root K A. Okay. So, this is the general expression for the C phi soil. Now, uh, here that C u is equal to 0. So, thus your K A is equal to K P is equal to 1. Okay, because your phi value is equal to 0. So, K P K is equal to 1 and the Q bar is equal to effective vertical stress at any depth. Okay. So, if I have say this is a point, this point is d point and this point is the base b and this height of the sheet pile is h and depth of the sheet pile is d. Okay. So, h is known, d we have to determine and these soil parameters are also known. So, now I can write that as K A is K P is equal to 1. So, P A at any point will be Q bar minus 2 C U because your K A is 1. Similarly, I can write that P P is equal to. So, P P expression is equal to q bar k p pass 2 c u root k p. Okay. Now, k p is also 1. So, I can write q bar plus 2 c u. Okay. So, if I draw the net art pressure diagram for this problem. So, this is the dredge level or d point Okay. this is a point and this one is the b point. Okay. So, at a point, so up to this portion that means, this portion is totally active above the dredge level. So, I can uh, draw this diagram is like this. Okay. So, at this is active this side. So, P A at A point is equal to minus 2 C U because your Q value is 0. Okay. So, Q bar is gamma bar into H okay. so, or Z. I should write this is Z at any point. So, this is Z. So, at point A z value is equal to 0. So, this will be minus 2 C u. So, this will be 2 C u. Okay. 
So, I can write P A at point D at this point will be will be Q bar minus 2 C U and Q bar will be gamma dash H minus 2 C U. Gamma bar or gamma dash is considered if water table is present. If water table is not there, so you can take gamma bar is equal to gamma and Q uh, prime can be written as Q. So, this is uh, the at point D. So, I can write that at point D, this is the active pressure which is Q bar minus 2 C u. Okay, Q bar is written as gamma dash into H. Okay. Now, uh, I can write that P p at point D. Okay. So, P p at point D. So, P p is this portion is second portion is passive. Okay. So, but initially if it is cohesion less soil, then P p at point D would be 0, but here it would, be, would not be 0, because here the cohesion is there. So, at point D, the P p will be equal to, because your Q is 0, because here this is uh, no soil zone, this is the soil. So, here it will start from this point. So, your Q value is equal to 0. So, at point D, your passive stress will be 2 C u. Okay. So, this will be the 2 uh, C u. So, I can write that this is active and the net pressure at point D that is P p minus P a at point D will be equal to P p is 2 C u. This will be 2 C u minus Q bar minus 2 C u. Okay. So, this will be ultimately 4 C u minus Q bar. So, this is the net earth pressure and you can see that this is the um, net earth pressure. So, and it will shift from this side. So, this this will shift from right side to left side at D point itself, because D point itself your passive earth pressure is greater than the active earth pressure. It, it may be depending on the your soil pro, uh, properties. So, I can draw the earth pressure, net earth pressure at this is the value, okay? because this is the net earth pressure I am drawing, net earth pressure diagram. Okay? So, I am drawing this value is 4 C u minus q bar. Okay? So, 4 C u minus q bar. Now, what I am doing? So, this is the net earth pressure at point D. Now, any point below D, the net earth pressure, that net earth pressure at any point below D. So, under this condition, say suppose that point is your H plus Z. Okay? So, at any point, I want to determine what would be the earth pressure, net earth pressure diagram. So, at any point P p minus P a, so a point say 
H plus Z. Okay. So, what would be the value? So, if I take this is Z, so for the passive this will be Q bar in that case will be gamma dash into Z okay, plus 2 C U. Then minus Q bar minus 2 C U. In that case, the Q bar will be gamma dash into H plus the additional gamma dash into H minus 2 C U. Okay. Because now I am calculating this portion the at point D at point D your Q bar is equal to gamma dash into H okay, at point D because this is the value of H. Now, if I want to determine at any depth that this is the point here I want to determine what would be the earth pressure net earth pressure. So, this point is say H plus Z. So, at this point if I extend this diagram or this value, this is the this will be the value. So, this value again will be gamma dash H then plus gamma dash Z minus 2 C U. Okay? And in this portion, the net earth pressure will be gamma dash plus 2 C u. Now, if I draw, uh, uh, let me draw it for the in different uh, portion. Okay? So, if I draw it in different diagram, active passive in separate way, suppose if I drawing the active one here, this is active. So, this is say H. So, your diagram will be this. Okay? This is 2 C u and this one gamma dash h minus 2 C u. Okay? So, at a point z, this will be the diagram gamma dash h plus z minus 2 C u. So, this is a point say z. This is active. Okay. Similarly, the passive will be, so passive will start from the dredge level. Okay. So, this is H, so passive will start from here like this and this value is to C u. So, this portion at a, I, a depth of z from the dredge level, this will be gamma dash z plus 2 C u. Okay. So, the net earth pressure will be gamma dash z plus 2 C u minus gamma z h plus gamma z z minus 2 C u. So, finally, this gamma dash z will cancel out and this will be again 4 C u minus gamma dash h. Okay? So, that we are writing at 4 C u minus q bar. Here remember that, that your q bar here is gamma dash into h. Okay? So, at point D, this is 4 C u minus q bar. At a point D plus or h plus z or at a point z distance below the D is also 4 C u minus Q bar. So, that means your earth pressure distribution is same in this region and it will remain same up to a certain distance. It will not change. You can see this again also 4 C u minus Q bar. But now, if I take now at point B neat earth pressure, so it will again if I extend this one at point D, you can see that at point D, 
this value will be q bar plus gamma dash into d okay minus 2 cu this is active pressure diagram and passive pressure diagram this value will be gamma dash into d plus 2 cu okay so this is the passive pressure diagram this is passive pressure diagram this is the active pressure diagram so now at point b if i draw the net pressure diagram that net pressure uh, net pressure at point b so what what will be the net pressure pp minus pa at point b that will be equal to the passive pressure value okay so this is the active pressure value and this is the passive pressure value but here at this point this is the zone 4 where this is the passive pressure okay so if i draw the passive pressure diagram here so this is the passive pressure diagram for this side so this will be something like this okay this is the passive pressure diagram and here also active pressure diagram will be something because this is uh, negative part so this is active this is passive so this side this will be 2 cu and this side the passive pp will be q bar plus gamma dash d plus 2 cu okay so you can see in the b point your it is passive right side is passive left side is active so instead of using the active in the left side now it will change so this will be the passive so i can write that here the passive value is q bar plus gamma dash d plus 2 cu minus the active at this point b point it is active and active value will be gamma d now if i draw the active here so the active value will be here so this will be the gamma dash d minus 2 cu okay so this is the passive diagram this is the active diagram so our case this base your this is the fourth zone this base so this is this right side is passive and left side is active so the active at this point the b point the active is gamma d gamma dash d minus 2 cu and the passive is q bar gamma dash d plus 2 cu so i can write this is also gamma dash d minus 2 cu okay so the net earth pressure will be q bar gamma dash d will cancel out plus 4 cu okay so the final uh, so that means here it will continue up to certain distance then this is the value which is because this side now passive so this, this passive pressure will be more compared to the active so this value is gamma bar plus 4 cu so here to here it will change the direction okay actually this will be something like this okay this is the diagram so the final diagram will be that the net diagram is this is the active part then this is the net 
So, this will be the diagram for this case. Okay? So, cantilever sheet pile in cohesive soil, this is the diagram where q bar remember that gamma dash into h. Okay? And depending upon your water uh, table position, this gamma dash value can change. Okay? Sometimes above the water table it will be gamma, below the water table it will be gamma dash, gamma dash is the this effective uh, unit weight of the soil or in terms of you can say below the water table it will be the gamma sa. Okay? So, finally, uh, we will get a distribution uh, is this is the final distribution Okay. So, this is the d value that we have to determine, this is the h value which is known okay. and so we are taking the P A, this is the active earth pressure and remember that as I mentioned we will not consider this negative part. So, we will consider only the positive part during the calculation of P A. So, calculation of P A only due to the positive pressure diagram. Okay? So, P A will consider only this positive triangle not the negative one and then uh, we will find that this value say y bar and y bar will be the this height and this value is your this value is coming out to be this is gamma bar minus 2 C u. Okay? So, this will be our q bar minus 2 C u and q bar is h gamma dash okay? and this value is 4 C u minus q bar and this one is 4 C u plus q bar okay? and q bar is h into gamma dash. So, 4 C u plus q bar this is 4 C u minus q bar. So, this is the total pressure diagram and in the next class I will solve that from this diagram how I can get this d value. Okay? So, that I will show in the next class. Thank you.